All right. Uh, heck of a football game. You know, this game continues to live up to its billing. It's the best game in college football. It's. I was talking with, with Coach Gundy down there in the locker room. I mean, he's been a part of this game for so long, and it never changes. I mean, and that's what's – it never needs to. It's pretty special. And uh, hard-hitting, fun game, great atmosphere again, as always. Uh, really proud of how we played defensively, certainly early in the game. Uh, I thought that was really – it was really a, a, a struggle offensively, really, for both offenses in the first half. Uh, we had a lot of opportunities that we didn't capitalize on, and, and defensively just was awesome. We tackled well, uh, but covered them well, and then obviously, you know, we were able to get quite a bit of pressure on the quarterback, which was probably the key to the game. So, uh, second half, it just, you know, kind of became like a prize fight. You know, each team taking their shots, making a lot of plays. We made a few more in the end, and uh, really, I'm just I'm proud of our guys, proud of how they handled this entire week. They were ready to play this game and ready to win this game. And any time you win this one, it's special. Uh, just a reminder, please raise your hands, uh, and we've got microphones going around. State your name and affiliation. We'll start on the front left. James Hale, Sports Talk 1400, the ref in Norman. Lincoln, you've been bragging on this defense all year, talking about its improvement and how excited you are about it. Uh, the the tempo that they set, the, the how they you know, played the first half and so we really won this game for you today. Talk about how you know, how much they came into this game believing in themselves and what you really saw out of that today. Well, regardless of what the outside world thinks, we, we believe a lot in our defense. Um, we talked about it last night. Coach Krantz talked about it in the defensive meeting. We talked about it in the team meeting. Uh, I don't care what our defensive calls are, schemes, any of that. And I said I don't care, but the way we play right now is it was a difference today. Uh, aggression. Uh, fundamentally sound, uh, kept our aggression even in the second half when Texas made a few plays. Uh, we were just, we were outstanding there. Uh, we're going to continue to get better. This won't be our best game, but it was a, you know, it was a really good, uh, really good performance defensively against obviously a very talented offense. Uh, front center. Uh, Bill Haston for CD, uh, your body of work in these uh, four Texas games now, 25 catches, nearly 400 yards, five touchdowns. So how personally rewarding is it for you to show up at that level against that opponent? I mean, um, considering what was at stake at this game, uh, um, it's obviously a great experience, man. And, uh, and for me to go out there and play with a chip on my shoulder like I did today, and uh, I can't really do nothing but thank the big man upstairs and the guy that's sitting to the right of me uh, for putting me in a position. And uh got to thank the defense for their performance today. Lincoln, is he as good a gamer as you've ever coached? He's pretty good today, you know. There's no doubt we've been able to coach some great wideouts over the year, and you know we've still got some time together. So I'm not going to anoint him yet, but he's uh, <laughs> he knows that. Um, he, he's he's a special player, you know. And, and it's been fun for the journey with CD, and really just like Kenneth too, you know, you've just seen their development through the years. And they came in talented kids, hungry kids, and they're they both really turned into great players. And uh, but. Proud of these guys. Proud of certainly have proud of how CD played today on a big stage. He's a he's a big game player. Uh, back left. Uh, George Stoya, OU Daily. For Kenneth, I saw you after the game climb into the crowd and, and embrace your family. Can you just take me through your emotions after that game and, and just how you thought you played today? Well, uh, I mean, most most people know you know family is everything to me. So um, you know I had a big support support group come out today. And, um, just you know, embracing them and just you know, um, you know, you know, my family is my why. Um, the reason why I do things, the reason why I go so hard. So, um, just being around them, you know, is just you know everything to me. So, I feel like today, um, flew around to the ball, uh, did what I need to do for for this team, um, and just happy we got a win. Uh, third row on the right. Uh, for Coach Riley, uh, philosophically, how has Coach Grinch's defense paired and complemented the way you view offensive football? Oh, man, that could take a long time. Uh, I, I just think it – I mean, it, it first starts with mentality. I mean, mentality – you know, you can have the greatest schemes in the world on any three sides of the ball. If you don't pair it with the right mentality, you got no chance. And uh, so we've built our defense on mentality and on effort. And then, and then from then – you know, Alex does a great job. He's, he's good about not adding too much, making sure it's things that our guys can play or confident in, and then, but also having just a few wrinkles here and there to keep people off base. And that's, I think, most of the great systems out there, any side of the ball, I think that's a pretty common theme. you got to have some things you believe in, 
and then you got to know when to get creative and add a wrinkle and when not to. And he's got a tremendous feel for that. So uh, um, yeah, he's he's done a he's done a great job here in the first half of the year. I'm excited about you know how the guys played for for him and for us today. Uh, front left. Yeah, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma and Lincoln after the game. It looked like you were about to go up the ramp and you turned around and went back and found Alex. What, why'd you go back and what did you do with Alex when you went back down there? Yeah, I just enjoyed the moment for a second. You know, it's always a, again, it's everything to me kind of feels like deja vu, you know, and, and uh, you know, I kind of remember those moments and my first time here and winning, you know, getting a chance to win this game for the first time and, and you know, he, I was excited about how we played defensively, and it was cool to be able to share that moment with him. And, and uh, journey's just getting started, though. Uh, joined by Jalen Hurts as well now. Uh, we'll go front right. Dean Blevins, News 9, Oklahoma City. Kenneth, can you, would you describe the, the lows had to be miserable for you with the, the heat that you guys got uh, in the past couple of years defensively? And to have a game like this, the, the joy, can, can you talk about how you feel and how big a difference it is? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a true believer in, the, you know, the past doesn't define you. So uh, this is a new year, um, completely different approach, completely different mentality for this defense. Um, coaches have done a phenomenal job with us, um, just, you know, making things simple and letting us go out there and fly around. So, um, you know, extremely proud of the way the guys played today. But like I said, you know, I'm a true believer in the past doesn't define you, and I'm just proud of the way we're playing right now. Back left. Uh, Lincoln, uh, Lincoln, I was wondering if you, uh, Adrian Ely and, and Eric Swenson, obviously you talked about how difficult it would be for them. Like, is, was there some, I don't know, magical fountain you found for them this week? Can you talk about kind of what they went through to be able to play as much as they did yeah, today? Yeah, they weren't able to practice much. Didn't, didn't look real promising. Um, able to do some walkthroughs at the end of the week. And, and, I mean, they weren't healthy. They just gutted it out for us. I mean, really, they um, – with limited practice, uh, limited time to, to heal and rest, it was just a, a gutsy performance by those guys. And it was it was certainly good to have them back. And uh, so, uh, yeah, proud of the way they, they played really our whole offensive line considering all the – all the changes, and again, we even as late as Thursday didn't think we would have either one of them, or thought it may be one. And so, to get two and those guys play well was was huge for us. Uh, back right, uh, Sean Jarrod, TexasFootball.com. This for Lincoln and for Kenneth. Um, was there anything that, when scouting film, you saw on their offensive line and their protections that you felt like you were able to take advantage of to this level? Um, I mean, we knew they have they have a good offensive line, um, and obviously a very experienced quarterback back there. And so, I, I don't think it was anything from a scouting. It was just you know to play the way we need to play. We have to affect the quarterback some. You know, Sam's too good of a player. They've obviously got talented guys all over the edge. Pretty experienced offensive line. I mean, you've got to if, you know if you don't do that, then it's just going to be easy pickings for him. And so. Uh, I don't think it was really anything schematically. We had a good mentality. Um, Alex called a great game, and uh, we were able to, to get some good hits in there and obviously quite a few sacks. Uh, back left. Paul Jones with NBC5 here in Dallas. Jalen, what was going through your mind at halftime knowing that you all had had some pretty good success moving the ball but only had a 10-3 lead to show for it because of a couple of costly turnovers? Um, well, no, I'll say that I, I definitely didn't put the team in the, in the greatest and best situations. But the key about that is we, you know, we found ways to overcome it. We had each other's back. Um, obviously, you know, every every position you, you want it to end in a kick. Um, so it's a lot to learn from from the game and, and, and all. That I definitely think that this team showed some perseverance um, and showed some mental toughness and we kind of overcame a lot of adversity um, as a group. And I. Uh, not a complete game, but definitely another step in the right, right direction. Uh, front row, right. Uh, Shiloh Sellers, Game Day U. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, there have been a lot of penalties previous to this game. Um, today, we didn't see that. Is that something you focused on in practice this week? We did. We did. It was, uh, you know, we knew that against a good football team, we couldn't keep shooting ourselves in, in the foot. And so we, I thought we did a pretty good job of maintaining aggressiveness. Uh, we were just sharper. The whole week was sharper. I mean, we were sharper on communication. Uh, uh, didn't put ourselves in bad positions. Um, you know, kind of held it together, stayed composed in a game that's hard to do that. And so uh, we knew that was going to be a key to the game, and we were certainly much better. 
on the left standing. Tyler Palmatier, Norman Transcript. This is a two-part question for CD and Kenneth. CD, you, you guys had, you were bought a little bit of time by the defense today, which is a little bit different from the, what it's been like the past few years. How much more reassuring is that for you as an offense? Man, it's great. Uh, obviously, on offense, when you when you if, when you fail to score and uh, your defense is picking you up and doing their job and holding their end of the bargain, is the Man, the energy just kind of just switch over to the offense. At some point, we're going to put up points. And uh, like like I said on the field, man, we just got to take that next step. We, we shooting ourselves. And uh, like I said, as a team, man, we did a great job of just, just complimenting one another. The defense did a great job for the first half, like Coach Riley said, and uh, talked to each other on halftime and then just came back second half to try to put up numbers. But Kenneth, for you guys, as, you're, as you go through this defensive rebuild, what does it do for your, you know, psyche that you're, that, you're, that there's a bigger contrib uh, contribution from the defense than there was a year ago? I mean, like I said before, um, it's a new year, new identity, um, and we got to continue to keep getting better. So I think that's the mentality um, right now that we have is, you know, you know, we played a good game today, happy to get the win, but it's a lot more that we can, a lot more out there for us, a lot more that we can climb to and get better at. Uh, front right. Larry Bump, Associated Press. This is for Jalen. Now that you've played in the Texas OU game, how does that compare with the Iron Bowl? I just figured that was coming. <laughs> I did too. Um, to each their own. Um, different environments. You know, it's. I don't know any other you know person that'll be able to say that they've um, gotten wins in both of those games. So I think that's very special, and that's a testament to to my teammates here, man. It's. I wouldn't rather do it with any other group. Um, when you talk about the emotional ties I have to this university, they, 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 they're there now, for sure. Oh, you DNA in me. We have time for a couple more questions. Second row on the left. Hey, Kenneth, I know some of the past um, greats in this game, guys like Roy Williams, Teddy Lehman around um, you guys. I'm wondering if you had any interaction with them after the game about this defensive performance. And then, Lincoln, I'm wondering with the personal foul before the game assessed to everybody. It felt a little bit like old times when, you know, these two teams, you hate to say, went at it that way, but it did feel a little bit old timey. Just your reaction to all of that. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of greats that came through here to play on the defense side of the ball. So, um, you know, obviously got a chance to, you know, be around a few Tommy Harris, me and one, um, Curtis Lofton, just guys like that that, you know, play great ball around here. So, um, you know, just, you know, those guys just congrat giving us congratulations on the win and stuff like that and just letting us know how proud they are of us. You know, it's always good. Um, but um, as far as our performance, you know, I like like what I saw today, but um, it's, it's more. I mean, that's, that's it's, it's more. And it's as simple as I can say it. You know, it's more out there for us, and um, we got to go get it. You know, it's no other option. Yeah, the, the, uh, before half, yeah, one of those things that, Maybe we have to time our warm-ups up a little bit different. I think we both end up punted the ball, you know, so both teams are just running right at each other, which, cre you know, creates a little bit of an environment for that. It's a little testy. Um, yeah, so Mike and them, uh, the officiating crew, just decided they would go ahead and nip it in the bud. They gave everybody a personal foul, which obviously is a big deal because then if any player on the field gets a dead ball personal foul, they're ejected. And so we talked about it quickly, and, and uh, it looked like both teams stayed pretty composed on it after that one. Uh, final question, uh, back left. Brandon Drum, 247 Sports. It's a two-part. Uh, first, Lincoln, how, how much did the confidence that you have now in the defense play into, you know, that fourth down call early in the ball game when you went for it, uh, I guess, from the two-yard line? And then, uh, Kenneth, uh, the past two times you all played Texas leading up into the game, there's been a lot of chatter uh, from their end. How much – does that amp up the focus? Because I know it's a rivalry game, but how much does that actually amp up the focus during the week uh, even more than it already is? You already know how to answer that. Um, uh, what did you ask me again? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, the four – yeah. Um, I think it was a com – I mean, it's – you got to know your team, you know, as a whole. And and I think <laughs> it's a combination of my, my confidence in our offense – uh, that we're going to score in a combination of, you know, if we don't, then we put them backed up. And I, and I felt great about our defense there, too. So, I mean, it just, just gives you the confidence to do what you think is right in that situation. And for our team, I just felt like it was the right call. No different than the, 
the slant pass we tried to throw a CD that got knocked down that would have been a big play. I mean, you gotta you make those decisions because you think they're going to help your team win, and it's it's different every year. Those decisions aren't the same every year because your team's not the same, and so just felt like it was the right thing at the right time uh, in both of them. Uh, I mean, as as far as the talking, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, in the day, it's about us, and you know, as a team, that's what we know. As a program, that's what we know. So. It's about us, you know, playing to our standard and coming out here and doing what we do. Well done. All right. Thank you, everyone.